Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this involves addition of ozone molecules, the alkenes, to form ozonide. And then using zinc and H2O, you, you break this and it forms aldehydes, you know, small molecules, right? And this is very helpful in detecting the position of double bond. So, so with that, the output you get, right? You can easily detect the position of double bond. For example, if the double bond is here, you'll get CH3, COH and this guy, that is HCHO. If the double bond was, let's suppose, in this compound, you define double bond, where was the double bond? So you do the ozonolysis. Now, if you get product something like this, CH3, CH3, CH2, CH2, COH, that gets, this means that the double bond is somewhere here and here, right? If you have something like this and then if you let's suppose you got formaldehyde and one uh, is, uh, this one CS3, CS2, CS2, COH then you can see that double bond was here. So like based on that you can find the position of double bond. From this also output you can tell that what was the product right and with that uh, sorry what, what was the uh, input right what was the input. So with the, for the product you can see what was the reactants correct. So with that you can tell actually which was the organic compound and with that you can tell which is the position of double bond. So this is very critical in finding the position of double bond of unsaturated compound. So there are two types of reagent used reducing style for example zinc and DMS and oxidizing style H2O. We will study the reducing style. This is the reaction mechanism I have. For example I have this compound. And in this I add ozone, ozone is something like this, right? One with a negative, then positive charge. This is how the ozone looks. One of the resonance structure of ozone is like this, right? So this guy negative will attack this guy, let's suppose. This bond will break and will attack this guy and this bond will break, correct? So with this, the product you will get is something like We already have correct. This is what we will get. We already have two bonds here. So. And now, on addition of zinc and H2, you can break this actually. You can break this and you can make this as one, this as one. So, you we'll get something like this. Correct? This is what you get. This is the reaction mechanism. Let's take some numerical on this. So we have to write the IPAC name of the product obtained by ozonolysis of the following compound. I have pent 2E. So let me first draw pent 2E. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And at second I have double. This is my pent 2E. If I do ozonolysis, what will happen is you will form something like this. Three, this will happen. Three bond. Correct. Something like this will get all single bonds. Now, now when you break this, you will get something like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this guy. Correct. So if you add carbons to it, this is nothing but propanol. And this is nothing but 2 so ethanol. Correct. This is 4 carbon propanol. This is 2 carbon less ethanol. So you can add this here. So this is this guy. CH3COH. And you can add here also nitrogen. This one. The next is. 2,4-dimethyl hep 3 in let's draw first 2,4-dimethyl, 3,4-dimethyl hep 3 in so let's first draw hep 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right and at 2, 3 and 4 I have dimethyl 3 and 4 I have dimethyl and hep is 3, this is what I get 
correct. So if you do ocean analysis of this, what do you get? One, two, three. This guy here, this bond will break now, right? This bond will break, and now if you see, you just break the bond and put ketones here. This, this is what you can do easy solution actually. This is what easy solution break the bond, put uh, oxygen here, put oxygen here. So this is what you'll get. So this, you see, what is this? One, two, three, four, butte, two ohm. Oh. This is one, two, three, four, five. This pen, second position I have on pen two. Ohm. These are my two products. Let's see the third one. Two ethyl butte one in. So let's first draw butte one, two, three, four. Butte two ethyl at second position I have a ethyl group. So I have ethyl group here, right? And one in. So this is my compound. You do ozone analysis. What do you do? You here you add one carbon oxygen, correct? And the next is you add here one oxygen. Correct. And now you add hydrogens. So this will have two hydrogens. This will have three hydrogen. This will have two hydrogens. And this will have correct. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Five. So it's pent. All single bond pent on. At third, I have ketone. Pent on three on. And this will be my methanol. Correct. Similarly, the next is one phenyl butene. One, two, three, four but at first I have ene also, at first I have methyl group also. Sorry, phenyl group also. This is my compound. You do ozonolysis, you break it at this point, so what do you get? This guy you will get C in the double bond here, plus three carbon and the oxygen here. You can add further hydrogens here. So this guy will get one hydrogen, this guy will get one hydrogen, one hydrogen, and this CH. So this guy is made with prop, this is propanol. And this is my benzaldehyde. And this is my propanol. Let's take one more example. An alkene A on ozone lysis gives a mixture of ethanol and pentanol. We have to write the structure of A. So I've got ethanol and pentan 3 on. Let's draw pentan 3 on. One, two, three, four, five, and at three I have own. This is my pentan three on. Ethanol is my this guy with it in the one. So let's me draw this in a better way. So that both the O's are pointing towards each other. Correct? Now you'll add this, remove the O and put a double bond here. So what you get here is something like this correct so this is nothing but one two three four five the longest chain i have and i start the numbering from this side this will be better so it will be one two three four five right so it is three is high pent at second, I have a double bond, pen to E. This is not control. Pretty easy. Let's take one more numerical. An alkene A contains three of uh, CC sigma single bond, eight CH sigma bond, one double bond. And alkene A on ozonolysis gives two moles of aldehyde of molar mass 44. Okay, we have to find the IUPC neon. See, aldehyde we have generally of this form, right? From the CH3, CHO, CH3, CHO, HCHO, or C2H5, CHO, right? These are the forms of aldehyde we have. The general formula of aldehyde will be CNH2N plus 1, this any alkyl group, and then CHO. Correct. Molar mass is 44, so let's put 
the number of carbon is what carbon is i have uh, n plus 1 correct so let's add this this carbon is 12n plus hydrogen 2n okay plus hydrogen 1 is 1 so hydrogen is 2n plus 1 so 2n plus 1 plus carbon carbon is 12 this hydrogen is 1 oxygen is 16 total is what 44 you saw all the value of n n comes out to be 1 that means my compound is CHCHO. Pretty easy. Right? CH3, sorry. CH3, CHO. So I have to form a. Uh, so some, there was some X E compound on ozonolysis. It gives CH3, CHO plus. Same thing, right? I wrote twice. Correct. Now, if you want to find the product uh, reactant, just add merge these. This is nothing but you can say that A is nothing but CH3, CH double bond, CH, CH3. This is my A. This is my B. And this is meth ethyl but, but At second position, I have a double bond. So, butene. And let's see, A has three CC bonds 1, 2, 3 sigma bonds. Yes, 8 CH bonds. 3, 4, 5 plus 3, 8 CH bond, correct, and 1, 5 bond, correct. This is correct, that means it is viewed to E only. Let's discuss an interesting topic called polymerization. So, if you see the polythenes which is we use in our daily life, is obtained to carry stuffs. It is obtained from the combination of large number of ethene molecules. That's why it's called polythene, right? Lot of ethene. Right, so a lot of ethene molecules you get, and to do this, we had to go over high temperature and high pressure in the presence of a catalyst. This whole process of combining small, small, uh, a lot of ethene molecules, they are all ethene molecules, right? N number of ethene molecules at high temperature and pressure in the presence of catalyst, you get polythene. This is called polymerization, and these are my free radical catch. It happens only at high temperature and high pressure, right? The simplest compound from which this polythene is made is called polymer. So this is my example of polythene. This is also my example of polythene. Poly this is polypropene because my this guy was propene. This guy is ethene, so it's polythene. This guy is propene, so it's polypropene. Correct? Ethene, polythene, propene, polypropene. So there are a lot of uses of polymers. One is the plastic bags we use on day to day life. The bottles we use, the refrigerator dishes, these are all polythenes. The toys which we use, we don't use in childhood, we must have used. The raincoats, the, the syringes we have, the pipes, the radio and TV cabinets. These cabinets generally are of uh, polythenes. Plastic buckets, Teflon coating. So in all these, if you see, we use polymers. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.